I think this is running. If not, I'll just say good, good guess. Hola! Como esta usted? Uh, me llamo El Vagabundo dos Hobo Cuatro Cinco. Quatro Tres, I'm sorry. I always forget my name. But I'd like to thank everyone out there for watching this video. For I have the special of the disgusting El Hobo Tom. And I am taking his place on this very special day. It's Cinco de Mayo! So in order to celebrate Cinco de Mayo, again, in this video, I put up how to make bacon cheeseburger burritos. Muy delicioso. And then I have some colita margaritas. You'll see those later as well. And then right now, we're going to go into Cinco Mania. And Cinco Mania is brought to you by the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League here in Daytona Beach. So again, it is one of those special days. I do like to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Again, you can dig the funky music. And enjoy Cinco Mania. Easy, no, no need if you go down. Rock that run, that is a way from. Remember. El Vagabundo Dos Hobos Cuatro Tres. Si. Uh, Como se dice. Yeah. Or C. Si. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Cinco Mania. Happy, happy fifth of May to, I guess, everyone in Mexico because today's Battle de Pueblo. And because it is a special day, wait a second, Corporate Tom's coming out saying, What are you people? Well, you get back to work? God, I hate coming out here and seeing all these bombs. Look at them, they don't even have wrestling shirts on. My God, still think they found this from beach garbage. Doing soccer balls and then rope and tiki posts. God, how does this ring even stand up? You get back to work! Okay, I guess there's gonna be some gimmick guy. Bring out my opponent! What the hell is this garbage? Now. We'll Zach, the what the hell are you doing? I told you to get back to work. Well, You're going to get fired. You son of a bitch. What the hell is wrong with you? I know who you are under that stupid mask. Taco Suprema Jr., my my left elbow. Zach, I, I, could, I could see your purple hair. For, for, for corporate sake. You can't do that, that's not safe. I'm not paying I'm not paying your workman's comp if you fall. What the hell is this garbage? You can't cheer for him, you should be at work. That's where you should be. Just to make it even better, this is this is gonna be playing the Broncos. This is gonna be a Mexican death battle. Corporate style. It's a Mexican street fight. So here we go. And whoa! Here we go in the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League. Standing tall for a second. I told you to get back to work. Oh. Oh. Taco Supremo Jr. Still wrestling in his flip flops. That's pretty cool, I guess. He's taking some offense. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. But here's the thing: you have to perform if you want to. What are you doing? Get that out to me! Come on, you loser! Get up and take your punishment. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of Boom! Oh, get up! I told you get up! Back to work! Exploded. 
shot to the gut. Oh, man, he nearly took his head off. What a guitar shot. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy, but he was successful outside. Look out! Sledgehammer! Oh. And there's another smack. Oh, oh not again. Leave. No. Who would do this? All right, just sir. To another man. And he gets out of the way. Right to the skull, and now, oh, wow. He may have lost control. Somebody needs to get the sledgehammer away from him. Oh, my. Oh, right on top of the sledgehammer. Goes past the guitar. And oh. It's obvious that he'll stop at nothing to win here tonight. Leave your cell phone at home. He's just hell bent on naming his opponent. down here. He's in full-on attack mode now. Oh, not again. Not again. Woo, a little showboating going on here. Just trying to go his opponent into making a mistake here. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. He's not too successful on the outside. Keep it in the ring. Oh, this will bring everybody to their feet. That's it. He's out. Well, he you're a bloody mess now. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. Such a great job of avoiding damage on display here tonight. These are great competitors, great, tremendous gladiators here in WWE. Some of the best superstars that WWE have to offer. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the... Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. I don't think Keep there's any lengths that these superstars won't go to achieve victory here tonight. And he fails to connect with any... Cell phone. Man, that was some miss, all right. I could feel the breeze all the way over to uh, the now. He's kicked it into another gear here tonight. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. And he brings the action. What a move! What a smart move! Are we going to see it? Home! That's it. He's done. Looking to fly. Hey, from the top turnbuckle, as opposed to the bottom. Oh, what's he going to do to follow that up? And he touches that one. Oh, and he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, he's not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a goal. One, and the shoulder's up, and the match continues. I love this. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. But hey, by the sounds of it, this crowd is ready for anything that happens tonight. There's no coming back from that. Uh-oh, big move coming. Well, this spells trouble right here. And he goes for the cover. This is it. That's it. Back to work. You don't deserve to be at work. You're gonna be fired. Oh. And here are just some of the highlights. Oh, he's got two highlights.
impressive win right there. Okay, and now, oh yes, one half of the Intercontinental Lucha Tag Team Champions. That was a good-looking tag, though. Yeah, not so this is the first out of two triple threat matches here in the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League Wrestling Association. Um, so again, they're going to be, be announced, and eventually we're going to see who's going to step up for the tag to the tag team titles. So let's see who's in this match. We have El Sicario from from the Cuba Connection, and there's a police cruiser there. And Diego! And approaching the ring, representing the Matadores from La Plata de Toro, weighing in at 217 pounds, Diego! You can only find What's I call Matador number one? And Dolly Dolly Wade. This is going to be great. This triple threat match can go anyway. It's almost too close to call a favor heading in. And who's going to be the third competitor in this Lucha Libre style? Yeah, good shot of the police cruiser right there. Playing spread in the classic match. Well, this is a triple threat match. No recovery from that. This could be all she Oh! And an Argentinian backbreaker. Oh, to a rib buster. Wow. 
This one's not over yet. We've seen plenty of people come back from being in a lot worse shape. What a maneuver! Not today, too fast. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Yes, yeah, so get rid of one of these guys because someone's going to cost him a match. Let's see here. Uh oh. Uh oh. The high flying Nutridor! The three masks. Oh, they do actually have all three masks. Oh, looking to put an end to this one. Oh, it'll take a minor miracle to come back from this. This match has taken what a move. I'm going to show you why I am El Sicario. Triple threats of snow. The tension, the drama. This is elect. Looks like another check in the wind column. Cole, oh, what's he got in mind? This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, and he gets cracked again with that steel chair. Ouch, he's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Are you kidding me, look? And he brings the action. Oh, man! That's it. Did you hear that? I'm just glad I didn't feel it. Back where it belongs. Inside the ring. Yeah, but it was pretty cool watching these guys fight right in front of us, King. count is broken. Oh, look at that. He managed to get a shoulder up. Well, like they say, Cole, timing is everything. That's it. He's done. Seen Cara. Boy, he just got left. Oh, my gosh. Good job getting to the ropes there. And a kick out. And that's all that matters. Is it enough to put an end to this one? Well, there is no quit in this man tonight. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. He simply refuses to stay down. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. Good right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. This may very well. Wow, there's the save. The match continues. And as we just saw, Michael, and the shoulder's up in time. Well, as long as that's it, he's out. I can't believe it. What a reversal. Can you believe the endurance of this guy? Can you believe what he's withstood here tonight? Thinking to avoid that. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're just delivering. Airplane spins to everyone. That's it. He's done. In the ropes, and that may have been the only escape. Look out. Seen Kara is measuring. Airplane spins for everyone. Well, thanks for coming. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? You want another one of these? Forget another He's one of these. Dig way down deep if he wants to keep Mas going Mas. That's it. He's out. Here's a cover. And he gets leveled. They're still alive. Yeah, Cole, you remember that song back in the day? Staying alive? Well, that was it in WWE terms. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. He's struggling a bit here. He's starting to feel the pressure of this triple threat match, guys. It's just too... We got a cover. Wow, there's the save. The match continues. And as we just saw, Michael, there are many ways to be there for your tag team partner during a match. He's in full-on attack mode now. Ah! That's it. He's done. Not today. Too fast. Taking on some moderate offense here. Going to need to start playing a little better defense. Oh, Sin Cara is on the move. 
Hoping to end it here. The count's broken. My God, somehow he pulled the referee and the shoulders up. And the match continues. I love this. There's no keeping this guy down. Oh. What do you have to do to keep this oh, guy down? Them. Cover here. The count's broken. My God. And he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. Oh, it's going to take more than that to keep him down tonight. There's the man. Oh, what a save. That stopped both of his opponents from getting the advantage there. Yeah, that's what I call killing two birds with one stone. Quick thinking to avoid that. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. We're looking at complete dumb. And Diego nails it. He thinks he has it. One, two. Ooh, two count. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. You're right about that, Cole. This has been an all-out war. Oh, no. We know what this is. It's all over but the shouting. They can end it here. What? Get a kick out. Uh, the kick out's all that's saving. This match goes on. Oh, there is no quit in this man tonight. That's it. He's out. Oh, ref bump. And One. The up. And the match ref continues. Bump. I love this. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. Wow. What a display of heart and determination. Oh, look at Diego. It's coming. It sure is. I get one of these guys out. Rough bump. This is awesome. That's it. He's done. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. Just right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. I'll be shocked if that's not it. Oh man, repeated chair shots. And I think it's obvious that he'll stop at nothing to win here tonight. Well, that steel chair has done the damage. I don't think there's any lengths that these superstars won't go to to achieve victory here tonight. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. And he touches that one. Look at this! Could it be? That's it! He's out! And there are the ropes. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Look out! Look out! This could be it! There's no coming back from that. Diego stole one. Oh, they threw everything they had at each other in this match. Let's look back at everything that happened. Oh, this is going to be a long video. Somehow, Diego won. There's that police cruiser. You know, only in the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League, the DBB. Oh, will you ever find police cruisers like that? Quiet on the set. Can we please have quiet on the set? 
Some of our good looking belts are nice. Didn't yell that crowd though. That's a nice looking belt, Wait, who's this? Oh! From Chikara! It's... I can't believe it! I guess it has to be the fact that Florida has no state income tax, but it's the one and only... I thought he was dead after his match with the Sandman, El Dronco! He's confused. He's all over the place, man. And he's El Drunco, the drunk Mexican luchador. Can't use El Generico, because Sami Zayn would probably... I don't know what he'd do, but he'd probably file a lawsuit. Copyright lawsuit. Can't use El Generico. That's gimmick infringement. No one cares about it. How did the buggy get there? He was shaking his head. He's like, yeah, I don't even know where I am. El Drunko. Wow. Haven't seen El Drunko in a while, folks. El Drunko. El Drunko! The drunk Mexican luchador. God, that sounds so terrible. Babyface Ed and Austin. That's a great name. That's a, that is a good looking belt though. The always underweight champion. Based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just... Oh, wait a second. Whoa, El Tronco's taking it to Ed and Austin. What's up with that? He is El Drunko. want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. And no matter what, these are the types of nights they'll write about in the WWE annals for <laughs> years to come. Shield. Let's talk about the challenger. Oh, just threw on top of him. To yes. An announcer, but you hope they're being careful. I mean, that's not exactly meant to be oh. a long time. Good Lord. I feel this gets more dangerous with every step. Watch out up there. Bringing it back between the ropes. And that's a good thing. The action was getting a little too close for comfort out here. What the, you know, I've had about it. Look at this. This could be. Uh oh. Again, oh, the that's brain it. buster He's through done. the table. Mm, there's a reason why he's a drunk yeah, Mexican luchador. So what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude? Back in the ring now. Yeah, let's just see how long they can keep it in the ring. Not this. He's looking at again. It. Wearing slippers with a suit. Will it be enough for the win? I forget all drunk as moves. now. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. You know, this match can still go either way. 
It's just too early to call it. But regardless, the show has begun. Oh, standing Spanish fly. starting to falter. He's going to have to find a way to fend off the champ here. And no matter what, these are the types of nights they'll write about in the... The Hobo Breaker! He's out! Going to have to shake off the moderate damage that's been inflicted here and find a way to maintain the upper hand. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. Oh, wait, nice reverse. Bang! It's going for it again. That's it. He's done. He's going to take a chance here. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be worth it or not. He takes to the air. Wow. And that's why it's called high risk, ladies and gentlemen. That's why he is El Drunko. What a move! What a smart move! Nice dodge there. Doing whatever it takes to win. And you oh extra slow getting back to his face here. And there's the submission hole. Will this do it? Tronco! Man, he's just flying, dude. He has like no clue what he's doing. That's it. Oh, wait a second. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE. And a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. Ken, he is El Drunko. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent-up frustration tonight. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way. One more here. time. Two outstanding athletes who can prove their dominance in there, but only one can walk out. And look at this thing, man! Incredible! Oh, oh, Tronco! Gonna have to compartmentalize some of the pain that's been dished out and find a way to forge on. Hey, from the top turnbuckle, as opposed to the bottom. Take a chance. Oh, did you hear that splatter? It sounded like somebody took a racket to a wet blanket. Not this. He's looking at it again. Executed perfectly. Oh, and brain buster. Satisfaction in those eyes. Honk. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Seven. What a 
somersault. Got out of the way of that one. Here we go. This could be it. A uh, hobo breaker. What a maneuver. He locked in the hobo breaker. There's absolutely oh. no wasted motion in this attack. Showing you just did too many stupid things. Actually, the last of the normal matches because the next match is going to be an Enfuego match. Then we have a Hobo in a Cage match, and then a Steel Cage match. So again, this is the last of the normal matches. What's she looking at up there, Fuzzy? You saw that. It's here. Uh oh. Again, just like everywhere else in Daytona Beach, we are experiencing some technical difficulties. So we know who that is at least. There we go. Randall is having some technical difficulties, and all my cats is out the window. Let me see up here. You can only find triple threat action like this in WWE. <laughs> this is going to be great. Of all the superstars on the roster, this guy is among the hardest working. That goes without saying. Oh wow, it's freaking clock already. There we go. We've resolved our technical issues. Again, we have all of those here. I mean, this is a bum fight league. I mean, I'm actually impressed that we have ring announcers. Again, you see the quality of that ring rope right there. Again, straight from the beach. He's done. Hey, look at him sneak one in. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. Nobody home there. Nobody home. Oh, that looked like the house. That's it. He's out. He wisely goes out of the ring after that huge maneuver. That was so wise, it was out of necessity. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Not too successful on the outside. Keep it in the ring. He's looking at it. This action has gotten completely out of control. Ouch, he's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. Nice 
reversal from Ferrando. If he can only do that in the bull ring. This could be all she wrote. That's it. He's done. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. Oh, man. Repeated chair shots. The steel chair shots continue. Closing my ring, will you? The steel chair has done the damage. Spring left in a step right now. Oh, looking to make a statement here. That's it. It's over. It's over. Not this. He's looking at it again. And Kalisto getting it done. He needs to dig way. And here's an early. And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. Wow. It doesn't get much better than that right there. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Oh, no. We know what this is. Oh, my gosh. Kalisto is getting ready here. That's it. He's out. Kalisto is looking to end it. Submission locked in. And this might be it. Good Lord, he's just hell-bent on naming his opponent. Here we go. That's it. He's done. One, two. How is he not selling those? Whoa! These are just no selling chair shots. It's terrible. Lisa just went into business for himself. That was a short match. Wow. That was fun though. It's always fun when chairs get involved. That's a triple threat, threat match, so look, look at that. He's like no sold it. Oh, so we have two potential challengers. Decisive victory here in this triple threat match. You know, without a doubt, he is among the most dominant guys on the WWE roster right now. Well, folks, it was a great effort by all three competitors. That cannot be denied. He's done. Hey, look at the sneak one in. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. Nobody home there. Nobody home. Oh, that looked like the house. That's it. He's out. He wisely goes out of the ring after that huge maneuver. Better. If it was so wise, it was out of necessity. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Not too successful on the outside. Keep it in the ring. He's looking at it. This action has gotten completely out of control. Ouch, he's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. Nice reversal from Ferrando. If he can only do that in the bull ring. Could be all she wrote. That's it. He's done. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. Oh, man. Repeated chair shots. The steel chair shots continue. Closing my ring, will you? steel chair has done the damage. Not a lot of 
little spring left in his step right now. Oh, looking to make a statement here. That's it. It's over. It's over. Not this. He's looking at it again. And Kalisto getting it done. He needs to dig way. And here's an early. And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. Wow. It doesn't get much better than that right there. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Oh, no. We know what this is. Oh, my gosh. Kalisto is getting ready here. That's it. He's out. Uh-oh. Kalisto is looking to end it. Submission locked in. And this might be it. Lord, he's just hell bent on naming his opponent. Here we go. That's it. He's done. One, two. How is he not selling those? Whoa. These are just no selling chair shots. It's terrible. These are just went into business for himself. That was a short match. Wow. That was fun though. It's always fun when chairs get involved. That's a triple threat, threat match, so look, look at that, he's like no sold it. Oh, so we have two potential challengers. Decisive victory here in this triple threat match. You know, without a doubt, he is among the most dominant guys on the WWE roster right now. Well, folks, it was a great effort by all three competitors. That cannot be denied. Whoa, here we go. First of the specialty matches for the evening. First we have Twisted Pixie. Someone else actually takes her bra off for her match. Because obviously there is bra strings there. That's a give her more tattoos too. Shoot. The Funko Diva contest is an Inferno match. What? Making their way to the ring. Inferno match? It's an end fuego match. Look at those eyes. The champion has no plans on relinquishing the gold tonight. He may be surprised. You only get one chance to make a good first impression when this entrance is doing just that. Yeah, with big boobies too. Still always impressed. Mike, look at that ugly crowd. God, such a bum crowd. This is awesome. I mean, who would ever go with against her in an Fuego match? <gasps> the master of the Fuego match. And approaching the ring from one Chihuahua, Mexico. Chihuahua. There's a, there's that like, cop trooper. This is what it's all about. Two so much energy. Going head to head to decide which one is truly There's the a beach in the background, folks, so you know you're in Daytona Beach. Whoop! Well, at least I'm not having any more technical difficulties. Wow, this is long. Yeah, I made her look good, too. Wait, is that? That's a new tattoo. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's the best I could do with, with what I had to work with. And fuego! And there's the bell! Yeah, I know the competitors are glad it's finally go time! Let's do this! Standing Spanish fly! The victims have suffered the same fate. Not today, too fast. And there's the reversal! Dodges to the side of that one. Oh, wait, nice reversal! 
What a wild attempt to strike your opponent. I don't know if she could have been further off the mark. <laughs> that was like a haymaker. Like she would take RKO okay, out of nowhere. nowhere. Oh, missed on the head, but yeah, there's nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Something will use other words hmm? to describe what we just witnessed. Look at this. She can do no wrong here. Look out! Starship Pain! The moves in all of WWE. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Got out of the way of that one. Whoa, what violencia. I don't recall the last time I've seen these divas look more focused than they do here tonight. have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying Oh, to wow. I didn't, know, I didn't know you could do that. I'm just sitting back cool. watching and enjoying. Putting it all on the line. That's the way. Look out! Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a... Stanley Spanish fly! Two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there, but only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? She's hooked. She's in the driver's seat now. Only a bit of damage inflicted so far in this one. Stay down! Stay down! This might be it! Another standing <laughs> Spanish fly! The end may be near, folks. Oh. You might just have no to give at this point. Regardless, people will look back on this night and tell stories to their grandkids about it. Red Maker! Fuego Maker! Once again, thank you for tuning into this Divas match. I would never oh, think of tuning out of a Divas match. This match is living proof that the Divas of the Dolly Dolly Wee are so much more than just a pretty smile. Looking for the win. End of story. This one's over. Oh, talking smack. We're looking at complete domination here. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. This match may end right here. There's no recovering from that. Oh! The referee's calling for the bell. The match is over. Well, again, this is Lodge well, Jericho's preferred match. You know, that was pretty good, though. Whoa! There's some highlights, though. That was, <laughs> that was amazing. Twisted Pixie got some. Fuego. 
And it wasn't, and I can't believe the fire department allowed us with all that cardboard and paper and rope, all that flammable materials for them to just light the ring on, like, set freaking gas burners outside of that. That has to be a fire code violation somewhere. And this is just, this is like viewing murder almost. This is terrible. Look at that cool mask they gave us. Nicely done. Picking up the win here. La Luchador. Well, Luchador. 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 La Generica. That was, a, well that was done, actually pretty entertaining. And tonight's action will have repercussions all across WWE. Now, that's going to set up for the Memorial Day Bash. So that's in four weeks. I have heard big boobies too. They're all big boobies. I forget why I gave him that belt. I forget why I got that belt on him. I have to take that belt off in the morning. I think that was last hurricane. Yeah, right? <laughs> I love the fact that he's a Tom. Yeah, I heard he's a Hobo! I have to fix this. I have to fix that tattoo. It's a group. It's the right leg. It's the right color. It's just way too high on the leg. Shows up in his tiny white underwear. No, he's a hobo. He has no music. He's like, you get out here! Shut up! I'm gonna s s take your woman and your woman. Whoa! Uh, this match is going to be exciting. I can almost hear the dirty. How does dirty get freaking music, but I don't? How does El Hobo Dos Vag El Vagabundo Dos Hobo El Vagabundo Dos Hobo? Again, he can't even afford a mask. He just wears a paper bag over his head. struggle in every sense of the word. Neither man looks like they are remotely entertaining the idea of backing down. This is gonna be good. Well, we can all talk until we're blue in the face, but the only thing that matters is what happens inside the ropes. This one could be the match of the night, but hey, the fans here in Sin City are here to celebrate the spectacle, which is the WWE, and so are we. It's gotta be over now. And the shoulders up in time. Put a dirty pin. Come here. Count, that's all that matters. And he touches that one. This will be a physical battle. You're right about that, Cole. This is going to be a war. This could be so physical that it gets really ugly before it's over. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. It's a hobo's kiss? Oh, oh that's a hooker kiss. That's gotta be it. The kiss of a fast. hooker. He's still got plenty. The shoulders are down. And he escapes with a kick out. This may settle the score right here. Oh, the hobo oh, trope. Oh, the longer he stays in this, the closer he is to losing the match. The hooker's kiss. Incredible! This has to be it! He's on his heels. He came into this match with it. Will it be? And the shoulder's up now. That's a kick out. Nice. Well, it's gonna take more than that to keep him down tonight. What do you have to do to keep this guy down? This guy's a machine. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house. 
Johnson has been empty for months. There's no recovery from that. If he keeps this up, this one will be over in no time. And he gets out of the way. WWE fans watching this match all around the world. We want to say hi to him. Oh, oh, that's going to oh. win this one. Hey, he's going for it again. That's it. He's done. Oh, he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a Will it be enough for the win? There's the pin, and it's up. He got the shoulder off just when you thought it was over. Wow, I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Oh, look at this. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Look at this. Somehow he's still going. Going for broke. That's it. He's out. Incoming high-risk maneuver. He takes to the air. Wow. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. Is this it? Oh, what the ho? It's going oh. over now. Hey, he's going for it again. Oh my, what a move. Here he comes. King, I'm not comfortable at all watching this. I haven't been comfortable since they broke out of the cell. Come on, guys. Get down from there. There's yes, the, the Hobo and Cage man. Match winner, Hobo Tom. Still top hobo. Oh, boy. That was a spectacular performance. <laughs> this is some of the to the groin. That is a good hobo finisher. And then the pile driver. Boom, the sit down pile driver. Where do you steal those pants from? What? Look at that. Yes. Here's your winner, Tom. Man, what a contest. That's right. I'm going to come Olympics after all your women next. The ages. I'll remember that one for a long time. <laughs> and talk about displaying a never say die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. It'll be interesting to see the fallout. The contest is a hell in a cell match. And it is for the Gold Coast Classic Grand Prix Professional Wrestling Championship. Yeah, that's the main belt of the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League, the Under the Belt, the Under the Bridge Championship. Look at that amazing, that's actually a pretty good belt. One day Matt has to watch this. That's good. Uh-oh. Coming out of retirement. Then you can't have a Cinco Mania match without two tough guys. One from Texas, one who thinks he's from Texas. 
<laughs> he's just here to dole out stunners. And, and of course, he doesn't have to he doesn't have to give up income tax, because again, Florida has no state income tax. Yeah, and so I, I guess we can get all these talents, and as long as they get paid and, and aluminum, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how I afford how can I afford to get Stone Cold Steve Austin here? Barely afford anything else. I can barely for, afford cat food for my cat. We get Stone Cold Steve Austin shows up. Introducing the challenger from Victoria, Texas. Whoa, that's a Jack Stone Cold. Diamondback Jack Maverick, folks, versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's like, <sighs> this should be a good match. Remember, this is also a Hell in a Cell match. It's a big fight feel here tonight for this one. I get that feeling anytime Steve Oh, ho! Stunner! Whoa! Don't get up! Good for Stone Cold's neck. Austin. That's it. He's done. And he gets out of the way. This is exactly how he drew this one up. Steve Austin's career is an incredible journey that began in Dallas, Texas, brought him to Memphis, Tennessee, to WCW and ECW, before he came to WWE and revolutionized sports entertainment as Stone Cold. You know, Michael, I remember seeing Steve Austin when he was stunning. <laughs> Austin paid enough dues for a ring full of wrestling before coming to WWE and becoming the greatest superstar this business has ever known. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's it. He's out. The damage has definitely been done. Now it may just be a matter of time. How much more punishment needs to be dipped out? Just finish it. But hey, this is what we signed up for, didn't we? Pile <laughs> driver. Oh, oh. Nice dodge there. We're looking at complete domination here. I couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Austin with a reversal. He's got him hooked. Folks, the title is on the line of this one. And I can't remember a more highly anticipated title defense. Not today, too fast. Austin sets it up. Will it be enough for the win? Dodges to the side of that one. He's looking at it. A uh, resounding move by Steve Austin. Boy, he is really tired now. Using the steps as a weapon. <laughs> Call your friends. Let them know what's going on right now in this. It's over. That's got to be it. Shot. I 
in fact, Jack Maverick just likes to bleed. Championship on the line. Are you right about that? Let's get this thing going. Who's going to be the champion? Look out. Look out. Look out. This could be it. Wow. It doesn't get much better than that right there. to the entire WWE locker room here. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars will get everything they have to win here tonight. Oh, that goes without saying, Cole. The WWE Championship, it's what it's all about. That's it. He's out. Come on here, you dumb son of a bitch. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Go, oh, thanks for coming. Avoids the impact there. He's showing no signs of letting up. What's he doing? Wait, what the? Oh, hold on, now where is he going? Oh man, you hope when you see some. Look at him. Look at him here. Just think about this, Michael. There's nothing between these guys and the floor, but you're. He's up to something. Oh, wait, nice reverse. Not this. He's looking at it again. It's all over but the shouting. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. Inside get back up here, you dumb son of a bitch. Let's get this done inside the ring. Look at him here. Wait, what the? Hold on. Now where is he going? So every bird's left and right. You see someone climb up there that they at least have a plate. What's he doing? <laughs> this is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, they're looking in here. Look at him. What's he doing? He's, look out. Whoa, just gliding through the air. That's it. He's done. Super busted open. Look at him. He's just destroying. Look at him. Wait, what the? Hold on. Now where is he going? Oh, man. You hope when you see someone climb up there that they at least have a plan. He's up to something. Look at him here. Wait, what the? Oh, hold on. Now where is he going? Oh, man. You hope when you see someone climb up there that they at least have a plan. He's up to something. This could be all she wrote. Looks like another check in the win column. Bad intentions in mind. Wait a minute, look at this! Oh! Dude, he just dropped Stone Cold Steve Austin on his head outside of the ring. See you open again, son. Austin wants to punish him. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. He's showing no signs of letting up. Quick 
thinking to avoid that. Oh, wait, nice reversal. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. You're right about that, Cole. This has been an all-out war. Not today. Too fast. No coming back from this incredible beatdown. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. Oh, look at the emotion. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Championship on the line. Oh, you're right about that. Let's get this thing going. Who's going to be the champion? Narrowly avoids the attack there. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. No kidding. What a matchup. This has been a classic. Steve Austin doing a great job of turning that around. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Austin. Wait, what? Oh, here he goes. Austin. Here he goes. That's it. He's done. No wiggle room here for Steve Austin. <laughs> Just to the side of that one. And again, another possible momentum shift in this matchup. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. We've seen this before. Uh oh. That's it. He's out. This match. This is unreal. You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This is not good. Matter of fact, about how to get it. And it's not over yet. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars will get everything they have to win here. Oh, stunner! Looking for all the glory here. Oh! What a huge win. We have a new Under the Bridge champion. And here are just some of the highlights. Mark just likes to bleed. Diamondback Jack Maverick just likes to bleed, I guess.
looking at the winner of this one-on-one -on -one match. Great effort from both these guys, Cole. I wanted to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. What a way to end this night of WWE action. No kidding, I hate that it's over. This isn't about pinning your opponent or making them submit. In order to win, you must physically destroy him. Yeah, this is a marquee match with a lot of pride and professional reputation all on the line. And again, I think the real important takeaway for this match is nothing's illegal. That makes these ladder matches so dangerous. But here's the thing. You have to perform if you want to go. Oh, thanks for coming. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. Austin not in a good place right now. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. But hey, by the sounds of it, this crowd is ready for anything that happens tonight. My belt! But he, he threw up the X too! Oh! And that's it folks, again, thank you so much for watching! Have a happy Cinco de Mayo! Or whatever's left of it. Thank you for watching Cinco Mania! Bye! Hello! Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone! This is again, Cooking with the Hobo, the Hobo Cooking Show. And because it's Cinco de Mayo, a little special cooking show. Um, I like to do Americanization of food. So today, I am going to make, actually for both myself and some co-workers, some bacon cheeseburger burritos! So just like anything, you probably saw it putting meat packages over here. We got kind of two, crown, two kinds of ground beef because they were both on sale. Again, because I am a El, El Hobo Dos Vagabundo. And I just set my oven to at 7, about 7.5 actually. And the first thing I'm going to do is start to brown off the beef. If you eat raw beef, you are going to get sick and puke, and that will be very bad. So again, make sure your beef is thoroughly cooked. I'll put kind of both chunks in here at the same time. I think the ones, I think uh, seven, I think one's 80-20, and this one's 85-15. That was a fairly decent fat content, which is good because fat actually means flavor. You know, and chop that up in a little bit once it starts to cook a little bit. And again, as always, wash your hands. You'll probably hear my sink running a lot this episode. So I have the beef browning. Um, I'm fairly traditional as far as what I like to do with it. I know you kind of see my tropical mango candle, tropical mango margarita candle. I'm fairly traditional as far as what I like to use. Well, I just like to use kind of a traditional spatula and spoon and honestly just kind of break things up. And these are the only two things that are going to touch any kind of meat product. I'm going to be making this for myself and my buddies at work because I know God knows they deserve something. And of course I'm going to finish it off tonight with some margaritas tonight because it's actually, well, this, this video is being made May 4th. So may the, may the fourth be with you. And oh. I know the actor who played Jibaka recently passed away. Oh. And I cannot growl like a and I cannot growl like a Wookiee that well. I'm just gonna set that there. <coughs> Again, that's like my beef browning. Very important. And I'm gonna season it a little bit differently. I didn't 
Because it is a bacon cheeseburger, a very American dish, I'm just going to put some very basic red chili flake in there, and I'll mix that up a little bit. Some kind of nat nature seasoning, a little seasoned salt. Well, that's really all you need with beef, and just for a little hint of flavor, just some Italian seasoning. And then you can kind of, I don't know if you can hear it yet, but it's beginning to, that fast beginning to render out. So here I have my burrito shells. Mm, burrito shells. They're good. So I'm going to open that up. I mean, if you don't know how, how to open up a pack of burrito shells, this cooking show is going to do absolutely nothing for you. And what I'm going to do next is while the beef is cooking, that takes a while. And let me check to see what time I'm at. So four more minutes. I'm going to begin my veggie preparation. Yeah, remember, it's a bacon cheeseburger, so you need some of the essentials for any quality bacon cheeseburger. You need to have some, some pickles there, lettuce, two there, two tomatoes and onion. Oops. 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 And I'll probably use most of this. Again, you can see in the background the kind of steam rising from the meat, which is pretty good. And I've also seen the can in the background. Um, you can make variations of this. I'd like to think you can make a variation if you really wanted to. Using, I'm going to get a plate so I can actually put this stuff after I prep it. And I was coming back from work, so I just I just have scared of this. I'm just getting on my, just want to get on my work clothes. And so the beef's cooking pretty well. Again, already shrinks a little bit. And it's okay, because you can use this. You just can't mix raw, raw meat with anything. So, so these two, I'm just kind of using a little bit. You can use a spatula, just, I like to just use massive flips. This is going to get cut up later. You can see the beef is beginning to brown a little bit. It has a long way to go. This kind of mass flipping, it's breaking it up. Again, you want to have it in a cheeseburger. That's why I'm using ground beef. Again, if you wanted to, you can make um, bacon and steak burritos. That's all up to you. That would be, of course, using steak, and I'd probably grill it. So back here, nice, nice sharp knife. I guess you can see this. Yep. Um, I have to do it kind of this way, and I never like to use the ends. In fact, you make a little V-cut. Got tomato stem out of there. And the El Carpaggio! You know. El Carpaggio! Again, I'm just going to... I'm going to have fairly thin slices, but not too thin. Just think about if you were making your own cheeseburgers. About a minute left before I restart this. I'm going to be very careful with your fingers. Do not cut your fingers off. It's not my fault. If you cut your fingers off, you're just stupid. And you think you really can't get any, what I always do is take that little end piece off. And very carefully. Probably doing this the wrong way, so if there's any pro chefs out there, they're probably laughing at me right now. And this is just going to go on a prep plate. And someone's going to get a big chunk of tomato. And the meat's actually cooking really quick. I'm kind of shocked at that. That's good. And you don't want it to dry out. It's still going to be a lot of flavor in here. And just to show you how I chop an onion, let's see here. Again, the way I do it, and you have your basic onion. I always take the two ends off, kind of slip down the slide, slip down the side, take that first layer of onion off, it makes it come off so much, normally it's so much quicker. There you go, you have a nice clean onion, throw that out. And 
and just gonna get everything there. And again, fairly decent slices. It's not gonna matter so much. I just like to break it up. And you can break it up by hand. It's tough. They didn't say if they liked onion or not. That's how I'm making it. So they'll deal, deal with it. You know, folks, I almost forgot probably the most important part of any cheeseburger. I can't believe I actually forgot that. And the most important part of any cheeseburger is the french fries. So I just set my oven to 450 degrees. And these are just going to cook forever. Because right now they're, they're frozen. So I actually forgot about that. Yeah, and you want to put french fries on, they kind of get integrated with the cheeseburger burrito in the oven that goes. And I'm just going to finish prepping stuff up, and in a little bit, I'll come back. It's just going to be me chopping onions, stirring beef around, and cutting up tomatoes. I'm going to kind of lower that a little bit, but that can stay cooking. I always just leave it in a hot pan full of hot grease and warm it up as I need to. Again, I'm just kind of chopping up the meat and kind of break the meat down. I don't want tiny chunks. I don't want burger-sized patties, though, into the mix. I'm kind of just stirring that up every so often. And there's going to be no pinkness because I know one guy does not like pink meat. Um, I'm not a big fan of pink meat unless it's grilled and, I, and it's just for me. So actually what I'm going to do, because a lot of that fat's going to boil off a little bit, I always like to put a pan on top, panlet on top, it actually makes it cook a lot quicker. So I'm going to finish up chopping up stuff and prepping stuff. Um, the next video you'll probably see will be me getting burrito shells ready to be filled. So you're not going to be missing much again. I have the meat cooking, the french fries are cooking, the onions are getting chopped, getting sliced. And then I'm going to start prepping some other stuff. So again, you guys really aren't missing too much. You've seen me do kind of the most work here. Oops. That was whoops because I didn't cut myself, but I got some onion, onion peels just went flying a little bit. You know, I have my sliced onions, just open up, I just opened up by hand, so I'm just getting some, some chunks of onions because that was at the very end. It's 10 o'clock, so that sucks. So, I shall be back in a little bit when we finish prepping stuff up, and I shall be back, folks. I'm going to wash my hands with that, that's my hat. Alright, and only because I so said this is going to be bacon cheeseburger stuff. I do apologize for that. I almost forgot the bacon. So again, the, onion, the french fries are right now cooking off. The meat's actually almost done. In probably about 20 minutes or so, the french fries will be all set. So what, the way I like to cook bacon is probably like the North well, My ex-girlfriend says it was the Northern way. Again, you get a very simple bacon tray. And all you do, I mean, you can use any, any kind of bacon. Um, hey, if, if you like turkey bacon, go, go nuts. I get kind of the cheapest bacon, and I think it's just unevenly cut, again, basic pork bacon. So it's not evenly cut, but to this, I'll load up. It's your one. You can tell it's not evenly cut because there's strips all over the place. But it's also the cheapest though, so that's kind of a good thing. I'll probably be using really the whole thing. So again, if it only holds three, it all depends on your own personal stuff. You just put it on top. You just put a layer on top and actually just kind of wrap it in. And into the microwave it goes for about three and a half minutes. And we'll see. And again, I'll be setting up a prep plate. Again, I'll just wash my hands, try to handle raw stuff. So actually, everything's prepped up right now. So I'm just going to grab another plate. And I'll just use a black plate. That's where the processed bacon, will, that's where the cooked bacon will go. 
And then I just have to make a better cooking station, a little bit more organized than it is. Hi. Hi. And then we'll get things started. So again, so six minutes left. Kind of, you can. T I'll show you the meat because it's almost entirely cooked off. You can see that nice pile of steam. It's all brown. You don't want to overcook it. You just want to kind of steam itself a little bit. If I have to, I'll just let it have it go for another minute or so. Again, if you want a pan fire bacon, bacon go nuts. Um, I have heard of people baking bacon before. That sounds intriguing to me, but I don't want to... I think the only problem with that is that I just want to check on the fries. We're still cooking. Um, again, the only thing with that is then you have all that grease by an oven, and heaven forbid, the grease overflows, and you have a fire in your oven. That just seems like a freaking mess to put out. Um, also, later, while that's cooking, I'm going to have some colita. Again, you can't have a Cinco de Mayo night without some something from, I don't know if it's from Mexico, but South America, and rum. You can never have too much rum. So it's almost like a, like a South American margarita, I guess. I need to have a lot of them. I need a lot of booze tonight. God damn, I'm people at work. Tons of bitches, all of them. But you can really hear the bacon crisping. Um, again, the thing, and just for safety's sake, you probably don't want to wear your underwear when cooking. Heaven forbid anything fall out and, and things get burnt. But again, always wear your safety gloves. Oh, I'm the safety gloves. Hola. And I'm probably going to have a whole lot of Spanish people yell at me for saying bad stuff. And making fun of everyone's Mexican heritage, but that's okay. I make fun of my own heritage. Anyway. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a cat to the kitchen. She has to explore a little bit. Sorry, I put the on, but just keep going for a couple seconds. Yeah. I don't know what you did, but I'm cooking. Can't clean you up yet. I have to finish cooking first. Yeah, I just heard my cat in the litter box. I could hear her scratch around. You probably have heard her meow at me. And she, that's her meow. She stares at me and says, meow, clean my litter box. So, you're probably getting a little too much info today. All right, I don't know. I'll, I'll, here, I'm just going to move your food around. That's the other thing. But she's very picky about her food. And she sees an empty bowl. Again, just wash my hand a little bit. God knows, I don't want to be serving cat food flavored bacon cheeseburger burritos. Now you can reuse this a couple times. Again, be very careful. Bacon grease is hot. And because it is El Cheapo bacon, it always shrivels up a lot. And all that fat's gone, which is good because you don't necessarily want fat. And you can, I reuse it like two or three times. So again, that's the good thing about forgetting to put the fries in. Is at least I have a lot of stuff to cook. It all depends how, again, it's unevenly cut bacon. So and there's a reason why it's only like, I think it's about two bucks at your grocery store. I mean, it's not, it's not prime rib bacon. It all depends how much you put in. So actually that could probably go probably about three minutes, I think. Maybe three and a half was too long. I know it, it does. That does vary from microwave to microwave. So I'm just gonna pile it on as much as I can. Again, it's not evenly cut. Those first couple of slices were pretty evenly cut. Everything else is just turning out to be a mess though. So again, you always wanted to do the best you can. And with this, because the pieces are really so small, it's probably just gonna be probably about three minutes instead of three and a half minutes. Again, that always varies based based on your own microwave. So I'm going to finish prepping stuff up, then I'll get the assembly line started, and I'll be back then. Bye. Okay, so for the most part, everything's done. I have everything kind of prepped and ready to go. Meat's there. I'm going to pull the french fries out in a minute. I'm kind of getting hungry because I haven't eaten really all day. I go to work. I don't eat at work because there's nothing really good to eat at work. 
But Jimmy John's is bland, and the pizza, pizza place there is even more bland. People, I think, swear by it too much. But to me, it's just not for me. So I'm going to speed things up a little bit. I still have the one more, I think three more pieces of bacon to go. Really just for myself. Again, always kind of wash your hands. Try not to go over too much. Put that there. Let me start this up. It did change because it just takes a while. So now I'm going to pull the french fries out because the french fries are actually all done. It's been about 25 minutes. They're frozen. So again, do not want to poison any of my friends. You probably saw the warning I put before. And now it's time to make the burritos. I hope you can see. And I know I'm using kind of a weird paper dish. But the way I like to make the burritos first. Oh, shoot, I forgot to do that. No, I just like to warm them up a little bit. And kind of cook everything. So I just like to really just warm up. Yeah, I know it probably wasn't the best thing. I just like to warm up really for about 10 seconds. Um, maybe that should be pretty good there. Yeah, I just like to have them a little bit on the warm side. For some reason, they're a little bit more pliable when they're warm. You guys can continue. And so I clean up a nice little area. I try and move this down. Again, I wanted to make sure you could see everything that I'm working with. First thing I just like to put down is cheese. And I'm using a mild cheddar because I don't know what other cheese they like. But I know it's probably a little bit better than American cheese. Again, just kind of two really basic slices of American cheese down. And on top of that, you don't have to load them up. Because remember, there's going to be a lot of stuff going in this burrito. Anyway, this is going to be a huge fat burrito. A couple french fries there. And if I miss out on a few, you know what? I'm a fat bastard anyway. There. Pieces of bacon. And now this is going to be really funky. The meat's all browned. You get a serving spoon out. Looks good so far, I think. Just going to put a decent plopping of meat down. And you want definitely to have that, that bacon taste. You have the bacon, you have the meat, so you have your bacon cheeseburger thing going on. It's pretty good. Now there, I'm going to add probably two pieces of tomato. A little onion. No garlic. Some lettuce. Some basic, again, what you would find in a bacon cheeseburger. Doesn't have to be super complex. And a slice of pickle. From there, I know I'm using kind of back this up a little bit. I've done this a few times. Fold the sides, push roll, tuck. Make sure everything's tucked in nicely, tucked in nice and tight. And what I've always done what seems to work is that I actually flip the burrito upside down so it holds. So there's one. Put you right over there. And really that's how I'm going to make these burritos. So it's nothing super fancy, just kind of, I mean, working at Chipotle I'm not. So again, it's nothing too complex. And I'll show you guys my finished product once I get all done with the guys. So right, yep, couple french fries. Again, whatever order you want to put it in, it's all up to you. Um, if you want to pile up with fries, if you want to use much, much larger burrito shells, hey, go nuts. Um, if you want to use smaller burrito shells and have probably bacon, cheeseburger, tacos, um, the only thing I wouldn't do then is I just wouldn't chop up the meat. I would just kind of let it sit. I just have normal burger patties and just cut it in half. I've done that with turkey burger tacos. So 
some burger. Yeah, I guess it's tomato. Oh, I did not want to call it. That's weird. It's fine. Tomato. Onion garlic. Onion garlic. Lettuce. Again, stuff you'd expect to see on a cheeseburger and a slice of pickle. I'm going to start to wrap these all up and I'll show you what my finished product looks like and I'll see you guys back in a bit. Okay, welcome back. Um, I got some good news, bad news. I have plenty of burritos. As you can tell, oh, look at that pile of cheeseburger burritos. And that fresh colita margarita. Good news is, I have a nice pile of burritos for myself. I'm going to watch some Star Wars. Oh, there goes the hobo cat. Somewhere. And look at that delicious colita. Colita margarita. Cha-cha-cha. Um, good news, bad news is that I had enough for to make four full-size, fully-fledged bacon cheeseburger burritos for the guys at work. Which is pretty good because there's only four of us. The bad news is I had enough left over and I don't like having leftover waste so I just made three not so bacon cheeseburger burritos and they can fight over them. I don't care. Like thank everyone for watching. I hope everyone had a good Cinco de Mayo and sign for some Star Wars. Happy 4th. Bye.